Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing very well today. It is time to find out what is in the box. I can tell you this, it's a very unusual and unique instrument. Let's throw it up on the desk and find out what it is. All right, you guys, there's no time like the present. Let's open this thing up and find out what's inside. Look at that color. That is unlike anything I have seen before, wow. Blue to white burst. Definitely some unique hardware on there I can see already. Let's get it in the hand and uh, take a closer look. Wow. Well, you guys, here it is. And what an eye-catching finish this is. Incredible. I'll just give you guys a few looks and I want to see if you guys can figure out what type of guitar this is. There's some nice contours there. Beautiful mahogany on the back metal cavity cover and before i show you guys uh, the headstock which is going to give it away i'll just give you a, a look at the neck we got mahogany and maple five piece titanium reinforced volute super strong neck with that maple in there with the titanium with the volute uh, goto locking tuners beautiful stuff on the front see if you guys can get it now you got the triangles the trinity inlays very nice abalone and VG with that brass nut that you can uh, adjust because each string sits in its own adjustment. So VG stands for Valiant Guitars. There it is. So yes, maple top. You can see the thickness uh, in the cutaway there. So it's no veneer. It's a proper thick maple top mahogany body as I showed five piece uh, neck. Uh, reinforced all that kind of stuff so that's just uh, yeah the brief unboxing I do like doing the unboxings lots of times when I you know demo a guitar for you guys I've played on it for weeks or months but doing the unboxings are fun because you get just my initial reactions and this one is definitely a head turner so let's get into it and of course plug it in and see what it sounds like now Valiant Guitars take on the single cut design is called the Smith this one was sent into the channel by the guys from Valiant so huge shout out to those guys and yeah, there's pretty much custom and unique elements over this entire guitar. I'm going to hit up some of the highlights. There's too much to cover. But yeah, just on first look, here's a few things that make this guitar stand out from the crowd. All right, so let's start off with the custom hardware. They could have just put on any old tailpiece, stop tailpiece, and called it a day. But as you can see, they have their own custom bridge. It's got the Valiant Guitar logo on there. Just looks really, really nice. Not a through body, not a stop tailpiece but a top loader, yeah, looks really great. Uh, while we're at this part of the guitar, I should mention the volume and tone, the VNT, <laughs> looks really cool and custom as well. I do like that. Now, moving on from the tailpiece, check out the bridge. Lots of throw there for setting up intonation and brass saddles. So that combination between the tailpiece and the bridge, yeah, definitely makes it stand out. Also, custom pickup rings, housing, bare knuckle pickups, can't wait to plug it in. Uh, I know the bare knuckles are gonna sound phenomenal. So right on the, the face of the guitar, you can tell very custom. No poker chip here either, just gives a very clean look. CTS pots, Switchcraft switch, great stuff. Another hallmark of Valiant is, check it out, truss rod adjustment built into the fingerboard. Why is that important? Well, on a traditional three plus three design with a tilt back on the headstock, this is an area of concern. One little mistake and you've got a cracked headstock. Here, guess what? Truss rod is on this part of the guitar, which is super duper thick and beefy. Instead of just routing out a huge part of the wood right here and making this part of the guitar very vulnerable. So this not only has the volute, not only has the titanium, not only has the maple five piece neck, but the truss rod is up here, which means you get a full thickness section here. So this is a very, very clever and strong design. Now, another area that really makes this guitar stand out is the custom nut. Each string sits on a screw, which can be heightened or lowered by the user. You don't have to take it to a tech. You don't have to use fret end files. Fully adjustable in a few seconds. Really clever design for sure. So that's just a first look at a few things that make this guitar really stand out from the crowd. Of course, I'll link to it down in the video description below for full specs of radius, string spacing, all that kind of stuff uh, you can find out down there. Other than that, I wanna see what this thing sounds like. Let's plug it in and take a listen.
All right, you guys, I'm plugged in and ready to go. Let's start off with a little overdrive in the bridge pickup and then we'll hop over to the neck. Here we go. Yeah, really creamy, really throaty in that neck pickup. Sounds fantastic. Um, let's add a little bit of tone here too. Yeah, fantastic stuff. And of course in the bridge, great crunch. So right off the hop, I had a feeling given you know the type of guitar this is, given uh, the pickup type, that I was gonna love the tones. So far so good. Let's do some uh, super heavy crunch and then some clean tones. Yeah, lots of nice sustain right off the hop, uh, totally clean. You know, just soft plucking. You don't have to pluck too hard and you get tons of awesome sustain. And of course that's just open if I dial the tone down a little bit. Yeah, really nice, love that neck pickup. Clean, dirty, yeah, sounds great. So here are my initial thoughts on this guitar, being that this is an unboxing and not a long-term review. Uh, here are my initial thoughts on the Valiant Guitar Smith. Now, I put it up on the scale. When we're talking about a mahogany body and a single cut design, anywhere between eight and nine pounds is what a person can usually expect. And this one came in right at eight, 7.99, eight pounds. So yeah, it's right on the lower end, which makes it a very comfortable single cut design. Now in terms of like the custom hardware, custom pickups, custom touches all over the guitar, love the inlays, beautiful kind of abalone in there. Yeah, really nice touches. So, you know, PRS single cuts, Gibson single cuts, other high end single cuts. Uh, the Valiant guitar sits comfortably with all of those. It's beautiful inside and out, all high-end electronics, high-end touches. Uh, neck profile is, I would say, almost like a vintage 59. It's got a little touch of a V to it. It's so hard to show on video, but I'll, I'll show it. So it's not like a super flat like D on the back. It's just ever so thicker there, which reminds me of like, yeah, a little bit, not as thick as like, you know, a vintage uh, style Gibson or anything like that, but it does have a little bit of beef to it. So it's not like an ultra shred neck. Very, very comfortable. Yeah, really cool neck. So yeah, playability, very, very good. Tones are great. And the features, like I said, it's high end. 
inside and out. So if you're looking for a high-end single cut design that isn't, you know, Gibson, PRS, or some other, you know, kind of uh, mainstays in the market, uh, this one definitely you guys should check out. I love the finish. It reminds me just of like an iceberg or like an ice field or something like that. Very cool. I'll link to this guitar in the video description below. It's left a very, very positive vibe uh, with me and it is a very high-end guitar. So it should feel and look like one and it does. So, you know, from that aspect, it's a, it's a hit for sure. So there you guys go. Those are my initial thoughts on the Valiant Guitar Smith. Thanks so much for watching and being a part of the channel. I hope you guys really enjoyed the unboxing. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. Other than that, have yourself a great day. Take care.